All right, guys, today I'm going to show you a little tip on how to change your uh, focus area by just one click uh, that you can uh, map it onto one of the custom button we have on our camera here. So the scenario is that, let's say, for example, if you're out shooting um, a bird you know, in the sky and then you're using Y or you're using zone and now when it's approached closer to you and it might have some tree brand or whatever the background, um, to avoid that, the zone or the Y might just pick up in the background and then you just go ahead and toggle it to a different one, for example, like center or uh, flexible pore uh, spot or any other area that you're comfortable that you like to shoot with. Now you'll be able to change it just one click uh, without having to go to the menu, go to the whole selection from top to bottom and scroll it down and pick on it. And I mean, if you have time and you shoot just a static object, then you know that that's fine. But if you do some fast uh, action shot and um, it's just a split second that you know the the, the bird flying at you, then uh, by having this uh, tool of, uh, available for you, then it will become very helpful. Um, this is a very simple uh, thing to set up. It is a four-step uh, process. Um, so. You would first of first of all, you will need to turn on the autofocus area registration. Um, right now, I'm using uh, A7R4, and um, pretty much all of the camera will have the same thing. Uh, you just might it might look a little bit different. Uh, you just need to go look for it. So it will be on tab number one and page number six, which is under uh, AF3, and you can see the. AF area res resistor right here is uh, I have it on so uh, if your is off um, then you select on it and you hit on and it will tell you uh, you can register a focus area by pressing the FN button and it will register that for you so you hit OK and the next step you need to do is you will need to assign a button for it um, that will be under tap number two and then I believe my is on page number nine and then it's, it's under custom key. Uh, any button here, uh, you can go ahead and assign to. So whatever the position that is comfortable for your hand or for your finger to react to it. Uh, myself, I use the top uh, right here. I use the C1 because it's just right next to uh, the shutter button. Um, so it, you pick one and you select on it and then you have to just make sure it is under registers autofocus area toggle so for example on my R4 uh, it's under AF2 and page 5 and you select on that and then that is pretty much it so you go right back out here so for example right now I have it under zone um, so the reason you see that is when you switch between the two, it's only allow you to change to a different one if you go back to the original uh, first registration point. So uh, let me get out of this and then I just go back in here and I select that. So for example, right now I'm going to use zone first. Then I hit the FN and it registered that, okay? And then I will just go to the next one, and let's just say I'm going to pick the center, right? Uh, yeah, center is fine, okay? So right now, center, right? So check this out. Zone, center, zone, center. And it just in one click of my C1, then that way it will uh, toggle between the two. And this will uh, become very helpful when you're out in the field. Um, so I hope this will um, help you in any way. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thank you. You guys have a good day.